This is a little bit like the universe aligning or the stars aligning. We have the NBC interview studio and we have NBC in the studio, so we're pretty excited about that. So first, a couple of fun questions. Jeff, who do you think is more likely to accidentally bring about the end of the world, Dwight Schrute or Andy Dwyer? I think it would be Dwight Schrute for sure. He uh, seems to get himself in lots of trouble. He always means well, but ends up doing something kind of bad. So yeah, I think he wouldn't mean to end the world, but yeah. he would end up ending the world. Finally, who would make the best first female president, Leslie Nope or Reagan Brinkley? I would probably go with Reagan, and uh, this will be a hat tip to my wife. I think that uh, you know any woman who can balance uh, everything that she does in her life, for, you know, producing a television show and uh, you know raising a family is is quite impressive. I think that um, when you can juggle that much, then I give uh, I give her a lot of credit. So I think that I love she could be. So these are of course, of course all insider questions about my favorite NBC shows: <laughs> Parks and Rec, Up All Night, and The Office. So. Now we'll get to the serious stuff. Let's go straight to the intersection of TV and digital. How are creative agencies changing the nature of TV spots to adapt to new formats and interactive opportunities? Some of the more progressive creative agencies are, are really, they're really just fine tuning what they've always done really well, which is storytelling. And I think the more progressive agencies are thinking about that storytelling mm -hmm. outside of the box, the television box, if you will, mm -hmm. and, and how that story can extend beyond a banner ad, a 30 second television spot. A great example of this would be um, with Lincoln, they used um, um, second screen technology where during um, USA programming that we had where the Lincoln television spot ran yeah. and then um, if you had your app open, there was audio content recognition that would recognize that that spot was showing and you could go directly from that spot in your second screen application yeah. into more information about the, about the product, the Lincoln car that they had. So those, advertiser, those advertisers and brands and agencies that are thinking about how do I continue the story beyond the screen yeah. are the ones that are uh, the most successful. And we're trying to create as many of those opportunities as possible at NBC Universal. So how is it done right? Who's doing it right? Or what's your advice? What should it look like? I think that it should be consumer centric. You should be looking at a consumer insight. What does a what does a consumer want? You know, oftentimes it's really easy to fall back on making something entertaining. So you know, taking a storyline out of a out of a television commercial give people you know an ability to choose their own adventure or just to continue a storyline that they're really entertained by. But a lot of marketers are are really trying to you know focus on their products and how yeah. um, their products help people. So a lot of times it could be informational. It could be simply connecting people to the shopping process more easily, more quickly. So thinking about what the consumer wants in that yeah. moment, the messaging that you have, and then how can that extend into a second step, a third step that's gonna right. help them. Could be entertain them, could be help them, could get them into the shopping process. We're creating connections with consumers, whether it's you know through um, extended social engagement that's happening, that then provides a platform for those marketers to extend that messaging. Cool. Now I know that Miller Coors is not selling beer through their app. They're having guys have sports <laughs> trivia so they can hang out in the bar longer, so that they'll probably buy another beer while they're sure. there on site. Sure. But some companies are very product driven, product heavy. So what should the goal of that second screen experience inter interactivity be? Is it product? Is it experience? Is it brand? It depends on the product. It depends mm -hmm. probably on the program that you're in. I think for, for different brands, it's going to be different situations. So with with an automotive company like Lincoln, it a lot of times it's going to be about the product. How can I sh like showcase the product more? How can I show it in different environments? How can I give people the ability to configure their own car? Yeah. And then that will take people through the purchase funnel, funnel to um, you know get them to find a dealer, you know, find, find a locator. I think with um, a company like Miller, a, a beer company, a lot of times it is just about entertaining people, keeping them in a situation where they can enjoy the product more. It's how do you best connect the content, the environment that that content presents with what the product is in a way that is enjoyable, fun, helpful for that individual yeah. is watching. So speaking of the entertaining experience and just the fun experience, from the programming side, NBC obviously has a very strong lineup, including, I mentioned my favorites already, The Office, Parks and Rec, Up All Night, and a lot more. Um, how are you extending that show experience into the digital space? Sure, I'll, I'll touch on two examples for you. On NBC, you know, number one rated reality show right now is The Voice, and it's, it's incredibly big. popular. A lot of the popularity has come from the success that it's had in connecting with the audience and, and making it much more social and bringing people in to yeah. the voting process. What we've done is created an ability not just to vote in the second screen, but to extend the content beyond that. So mm. we have an application where it's called the Fifth Coach where you 
you can actually be like one of the coaches. So oh, I love it. you know, you can go and you can create your own team and you can follow your team and see how that team does. You can compete with other friends. And all of this experience is meant to extend the real like mm -hmm. life experience that you're watching in a television show. All of these functions in inside this app gives you an ability to share that with your friends, invite your friends in to play a part of that. So again, just making that content a lot more engaging. Mm -hmm. And what this does for marketers is it creates a, again a palette for them to put their own messaging on, to be involved in the process, to sponsor these kinds of things yeah. that you know is is really like fun for those brands. With Top Chef, again one of the more successful shows we have at NBC Universal, um, we we had an idea where extending the actual like people getting kicked off the show. We took those people who got kicked off the show and got, gave them an ability to get back on the show. So right. last, last Chance Kitchen um, was a place where if you got kicked off the show, you could compete to get back on the show at the very end. We had over 8 million views. It was NBC Universal's most successful you know, video-only series that, oh, that we put online. It extended our brand. It extended um, the storyline, but it also created you know, advertising opportunities. We did extensive research to see, did this transmedia experience an opportunity to get your message out there did it help and it provided in most instances you know over three times lift over simply watching television wow and showed incremental reach against you know audience as people were discovering the show in, in a different environment we think that like those kinds of opportunities are really exciting for us as a media company but also creating a lot of opportunities for marketers I mean I know that a huge percentage of viewers still watch traditionally on the TV Absolutely. at the time time or recorded but anymore a lot of the new viewers TV and digital are sort of all mishmashed together and so for that fuller experience coming alongside the the full episodes I think it's it's seamless for them yeah it's great I mean it's it's a place for people to discover new programming yeah. and it's a place for people to catch up so again we just want people to be able to have as many op options as possible to consume the content yeah I love it so much fun talking with Jeff from NBC our guys on the inside Jeff thank you great thank you